getting ahead of myself. Howdy, howdy. I thought they'd already, I seen him whip out the Sawzall. I thought they'd had already pulled the converters out. Apparently not. And it's four by four. And it's gonna be a pain in the butt. Let me hold it for him. How's everybody doing? We're crushing some cars. We've been here a day or so, a couple days. That sawzall don't sound like he's gonna do it. Oh, we got that one. That one's gonna, I mean, probably got a hanger. Yeah, it looks like it's on the weather. I can knock it out of there, bro. Those hangers are like hard steel. Get it. Get it. I've been wanting to get one of those pneumatic um, reciprocating saws. I mean, we do have a cat cutter. It works pretty good. But sometimes it's just so easy and quicker just to put a sawzall on it and cut it out. Four by four makes things a little tougher. It's it's um, not a lot of room. You got that torsion bar there. You got an extra cross member. It ain't easy being easy. We got that done. Now we'll do some crushing. Oh, come on now. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't need a whole lot. Just a little bit. Give it to me. Thank you. Thank you. Just give it up. It's over. I know it's a Chevy. You don't want to die. little blazer. Oh man. Freaking rear door popped out on me. We're gonna crush this stupid thing, and sooner or later we're gonna go see what else we got going on. Got my baby back. I got something else to show y'all. No codes. Air conditioner's cold and working again. Even though the first day I get the, the loader back, it's like 41 degrees. It's all good. It's all good. Story of my life. First coat snap after summer. And I get work in air conditioning. So we've been
been here a, a couple of three times. I was really hoping the last time I was here, I acted like such an ass that they wouldn't want me back. <laughs> well, apparently that didn't happen. I've done that at a couple places. These dudes are jack wagons, they ain't got it together, they're wanting too much. It's a super pain in the butt there. So I act like a butthole, like a jerk, and um, uh, I hope I don't get invited back. <laughs> well, it didn't work. But I do have a couple places where they're like, don't ever bring that cowboy back over here, and that's just fine. Just fine. I don't want to be there either. So every morning when we get here, we have to wait for him. Well, when I first showed up, I had to pull all this outside so we could get the crusher in and I would have room to crush. Well, every morning, we have to wait for him to, to pull those cars out. And then also, um, you better watch your butt, bro. Um, this whole driveway right here, or whatever you want to call it, it'll be full of running and driving cars, and none of them got batteries, so he has to put a booster on them, take them outside, bring his booster back inside, get another one. So here it is, almost 10, and we finally got a car crushed. Usually we put the crusher right here where this, where this Dodge is and this red and brown car. Usually this is where we put the crusher. Come on, Bubba. He does this to every car we crush. He's got to get like one more thing off of it or hang on, I got parts inside of it. Easy. Don't tear the fence up. Hang on, I need to talk to him for a second. Now, let me get something on the ride. Anyway, I think he wants to crush. It was so tight we couldn't, we, we did a walk around and I, we couldn't, we couldn't mark everything, we couldn't get to it unless you climbed over it or under it or around it. And, oh, y'all should see how tight it is. Hey, y'all look at this truck, it is shot up. Dang. I better get a better buy. Let's go through the windows, man. There we go. It's always like this when we come over here. It's frustrating, it's tight. Prepared myself. I just would rather be. I'd rather put up with this and crush something than to be at the yard pushing a broom or separating number one copper from number two copper or stripping wire. I can't stand busy work. So I'd rather put. A, I'd rather put up with the frustration than be at the yard. Y'all want to see something cool? Not only did they fix, I had, had a couple emission codes. I don't know exactly what was wrong, what went bad, or what did they, I didn't, no one told me what, what got fixed. But it was the motor being derated that wasn't letting the air conditioning come on. And I told, I told, I told the boss for a long time, hey man, I got codes that are coming up. I mean, everything's still running. We're still moving around and working. I mean, something's up. And 
I sent him a couple pictures of the codes and nobody, I mean, it's not my equipment. Y'all check this out. Bam! Got me a reupholstered seat. How cool is that? Freaking awesome. I didn't even ask for it. They just did it. There's a big chunk that come out right here. Just wear and tear coming in and out of the loader. Pretty cool. She got power washed. She got, um, it was like a day at a spa for her, you know? Got her nails done, got her hair fixed. The only thing is I got my girlfriend back. What do I tell my mistress? All right, let's yank this um, F-150 down and then We're gonna crush the navigator that's under it and the trucks that are behind the navigator. Easy, these are good parts trucks right here. Got a lot of parts on these Fords. He's like, yeah, just put it somewhere. I'm like, what? Put it where, man? Anyway. All right, here we go. It might fit in here, it might not, but I don't got a lot of options. Oh, God dang. What happens when you put trash in the back of a truck? What do you think's gonna happen? It's gonna fall out. can't really carry anything up to the rack there's not enough room right now I got to clear the rack just to get you know to get through there I just hate sitting still and just, like, just, there's something we can do there's something we can do <laughs> all right let's go see where we're at on the expedition No, I think it's an explorer on the ride. Let's see if we get to crush your working with the remote. I let the world's ugliest loader operator. You know what? I don't have the screen. I let the world's ugliest loader operator. Um, let him be the loader operator, let him run the loader and 
the crusher, gave him the remote, and jeez, it, it has, there it goes, it's hanging up. Pay attention, pay attention, bro. Pay attention. You know it always hangs up in the morning. Come on, dude. Or we can just put the remote in the truck and you crush every one of them. Come on, man, get in the game. Get in the game. Now that's kind of normal, it does that. I was thinking that, you know, if we manually, manually stroked that last car and did it, maybe it would, you know, act normal. It'll start, it'll, seems like after it warms up, we do it two or three times, it seems like everything just somehow works out. All right, let's still get another car. Burn stuff sounds different, don't it? It's got a whole different sound to it. doesn't want to crush that Suburban. I gotta find a place to put it so I can dig the rest of the stuff out and then put it back. He don't want to crush it. He doesn't want to crush anything. I'm telling you right now, he don't want to. But he has to, he's out of room. Slow down, man. Moving fast don't do nothing but tear stuff up. They just can't stand to crush it. They gotta get, there's gotta be something on there. It's got a tail light. I'd pull that out. I think the battery's pretty sure the battery's in the bag. I see it, looking for it. But yeah, every car, I gotta sway. Let him get parts out, and, and I understand. You just think that maybe this could have been done before we got here, but some of this stuff's so tight, we can't even get to it. I think this car was on top, wasn't it? And we're still digging. I would, these are popular cars. There's some idiots out there to get these cars and wreck them. Don't need nothing but keep us in business. But he is. I mean, I, I drove by his little shack over here or his shop, and every shelf is stuffed. So he really has nowhere else to keep the part but in the car. And also, you um, you know, you got to label everything. You got to label everything. That takes time, too. The more work you put into it, you're losing money. I like the crushing part. Here's the fun part. Here, I'll show y'all. All right, there's about as far as back as I can go. And here's the deal. I gotta spin this car. They got me working in the shoebox, mama. Hopefully, 
I can raise up and it'll just spin around. it done in the sun and it's fun hey let me try the remote let me try the remote oh what I tell you about them dodges I just commented that on the um, on the Facebook uh, cowboy car crushing buddies. I someone had mentioned that that last loader I was on for a couple videos. It had a thumb. I had a thumb shift, and believe it or not, I jumped on the on the Lila, and I was reaching for that. My thumb was looking for that thumb switch. It don't take that long after you do it 200 times, three, 500 times a day. Here we go. All right, we're gonna we're gonna jog the bundle. So hopefully it or rocket look and it stopped see ever since I gave it to the world's ugliest loader look and it stopped again it's doing it all on its own it shouldn't do and now it's wanting to do it a little bit what's going on why is it doing this it's pausing all on its own that was, all that was all on its own I did put the, I just pushed the buttons right then. Alright, we got some customers walking in. I'm gonna look at them and wave at them. And, hey, the, 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 he's over here. The owner's over here. I typically don't make my bundles this way, but being at this location and I can't just set something to, to the side. I mean, I, I, I like putting trucks with trucks. I don't mind putting some of these cars with these explorers, but generally I wouldn't put a Ford pickup truck. Come on, yeah, that's, I'm, I'm, I'm chancing it on this reverse stuff. This truck needed to spin a whole lot more than that. Don't knock all the junk off. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Uh, yesterday, I, I actually started out with a jacket. Somewhere around 11, I come out of it. And then, uh, I did knock that dirt off the top of that bundle. I raised it up. And, uh, I don't know what to do. Man, you go ahead and crush it. I'm tired of fooling with this remote, man. We got, we got things to do. Y'all remember I, I just said that uh, some customers were walking in? Uh, one of those crushers, one of those guys, a customer, walked up to me and I was like, good morning. I said, but the owner is on the other side of the loader. He said, no, I want to talk to you. He said, what's the price? And I told him, and he, he just walked away. He didn't even say, thank you. I mean, that face like, that face bittered up and like, a, like, like it took a bite of lemon and just walked off. <laughs> Dang. Oh, y'all have no idea what it takes to get a bundle out of this joint either. Dang, all I think to do is pull up all the way this way and try to go far back in this corner on the side as I can. See if I can get this loader to turn. Ooh. Turn, 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 turn. Now, if you get the loader bouncing just right, you can, the wheels on the back will come up and you can spin around real quick. It's kind of like you're, you're spinning in the same spot. 
you're getting lined back up. Oh, what just fell off? A door. There was a door. <laughs> That's all I got. What? That's all I got. I think I knocked that lot down a couple of years ago. <laughs> For real. All right. He's marked a couple in this line, but once again, it's like move four to get one. But I think I can reach over and just snatch it right off the top. I think I can do the same thing with that white, was that a Caliber Nitro Dodge product? He's marked it as well. I got those trucks behind me. We can bust these and then I have a place to set some of this, John. That's probably the smart move. He wants to crush a couple more trucks. That's probably the smart move. Yeah, I got a little bundle right here. Mercedes, um, whatever this thing is on top. Hang on. All right. Let's wiggle our way through here. Don't worry, I'm a fisherman. I know how to wiggle my worm. Well, folks, he, he's already told me he wants. And he's get the radio and some other stuff. Gee. Hey, 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 hey. Nope. It's a beautiful day in Dallas, Texas. I mean, it's a fine day indeed. And this job is all right. Y'all be careful and be kind. We'll get a little more work done and then I'm, I'll make another video. We got a whole nother load to do. Something about we're gonna go on the other side of this fence. I done walked over there and I don't know if y'all can see through the Ranger, but there's like a broke down loader like right there. That's the cab, top of the cab. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna crush. I'll crush this three stuff right here, and um, that way I can jockey these cars around and raffle through them. And like I, in another video, I mentioned rearrange this yard. <laughs> it ain't easy being easy. Thank you.